Okay, this sermon's entitled, How Is the Thief on the Cross Saved? I'd like to open with prayer, and then with a few verses. All right, dear God, thank you for giving us your Bible, your word, and discernment, and uh, a clear understanding of what the Scripture says. Keep us safe, bless us abundantly, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now, let's just open up with a few verses here in 1 John. 1 John chapter 5, I like to go there a lot. There's a lot of great verses here that explain salvation. It says in verse 1, Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And every one that loveth him that begat, loveth him also that is begotten of him. Now, technically, to believe in Jesus includes the fact that he is the Christ. Okay? When Jesus said, He who believes on me has everlasting life, the implication is that he is the one that gives eternal life. He's the Messiah. He's the risen Savior. He died, was buried, rose again, and he did this so that you could have eternal life. So the implication is that you're believing that he is who he says he is. Now, did the thief on the cross believe that? Absolutely. Let's take a look, but let's before we go to that verse, let's take a look at Acts chapter 15. Acts chapter 15 reads in verse 7. And when there had been much disputing, Peter rose up and said unto them, Men and brethren, ye know how that a good while ago God made choice among us, that the Gentiles by my mouth should hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God which knoweth the hearts bear them witness, giving them the Holy Ghost, even as he did unto us. And put no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. Now therefore, why tempt ye God to put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear? But we believe that through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved even as they. So what he's saying is that the people in the Old Testament believe, believe this. The people in the New Testament need to believe this. So what did the thief on the cross believe? Let's take a look at the verses that describe the thief on the cross. Let's turn over to um, Luke chapter 23. And we'll start off with verse 37. So hang on one second. Let me check my, uh, my food here. Hang on one second. Okay, verse 37 reads, And saying, If thou be the king of the Jews, save thyself. And a superscription also was written over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. <clears throat> and one of the malefactors, well, that's another word for criminal, which were hanged railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, rebuked, yeah, rebuked him, saying, Doest not thou fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? Now that's, the, that's of course, the thief on the cross who, who gets saved here. He understands that, that Jesus Christ is God. You see that? So let's, 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 take, let's keep that in mind. Let's keep reading. And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man hath done nothing amiss. So what does the thief on the cross have just what has he what has he done here? He understands that he's a sinner, and that Jesus Christ is was not was was was, was, was without sin. He had done nothing amiss. So that's his acknowledgement that Jesus Jesus is the Christ right there. Okay? Now look at this. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. What happened there? He had faith on Christ. He put his faith in Jesus. God saved him right there. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. So the thief on the cross just had simple faith in Christ. And that's, that's what saved him. Same thing with everyone, everyone else. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. You believe on Jesus Christ, he's the Son, you got everlasting life. Same thing with the thief. So that's how the thief on the cross got saved. By faith alone in Christ alone. <clears throat> And it has nothing to do with confessing and repenting and um, any of that. It just has to do with believing. So the thief on the cross gets got saved the way everyone else gets saved, just by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ for eternal life. Now, of course, he admitted he was a sinner. He understood what was going on there. So that's all I have. Um, thief on the cross, not complicated. Now, these Church of Christ people will, will tell you that the thief on the cross... You know, he, he did more than just believe, because that's what they believe. They believe there's more to it than just believing, because they're not believers. They're lost. That's all I have. 
Dear God, thank you for allowing us to understand your word and how simple the, the gospel is. The Bible says, Thy faith hath saved thee. Go in peace. Believe only, and you will be made whole. So it's very clear. Just simply believing on Jesus Christ <clears throat> saves, period. Keep us safe. Bless us abundantly. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.